Welcome to the Great Pyramid of Giza. It is the largest of all the Egyptian pyramids and is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This Great Pyramid was built as a tomb for the Pharaoh Khufu and once held all the treasures that he would take with him to the afterlife. One of the most important accomplishments of the Egyptians was their architecture. They built pyramids, palaces, and tombs. And in order to do this, they had to use machines such as levers and ramps. They built some of the fanciest buildings and perfected their building by adding arches and other architecture that we see in different areas today. The ancient Egyptians weren't just good at building pyramids and palaces. They had many other achievements, accomplishments, and inventions. Let's spend some time learning about some of the things that they created and the impact they've had on our life today. The papyrus plant grew along the banks of the Nile River. They would use the reeds of the plant woven together to help build ships that they could take into the Nile for transportation and for fishing. They also used the papyrus plant to make paper. One of the most well-known uses of the papyrus plant was to make paper. Ancient Egyptians would have recorded religious ideas, books, and other documents on the papyrus paper. They would have traded the papyrus paper with the Greeks. But they didn't tell them how it was made, so they could always use it as a bargaining tool. One of the most important advancements the ancient Egyptians made was writing. They started by using a form of writing called hieroglyphics, which means sacred text. This writing was created using various symbols to represent different letters or objects. These Egyptians also cared about their health. They used ashes, eggshells, and the hooves of animals to create a concoction like toothpaste. Nobody really knows what they used as a toothbrush, but it helped to keep the sand and grit out of their teeth. In addition to toothpaste, the Egyptians used soot and minerals to make a type of makeup that they could wear to protect their face from the sun. Both men and women wore makeup during ancient Egyptian times. The ancient Egyptians used many strange and wonderful cures and medicines. Archaeologists have found written records that describe some of the practices that they tried. One actually shows that they used crocodile poop to treat infections. Can you imagine? There are over 700 different remedies reported by the ancient Egyptians. Evidence shows that they could treat burns and broken bones very similar to the way we treat them today. Because farming was such an important part of the everyday life of the ancient Egyptians, they needed a way to keep track of time and the seasons. The ancient Egyptians created their own calendar, divided into three different growing seasons, lasting 120 days each. The Egyptians were the first to use the sundial clock. They would use a stick or pillar to correlate with the shadow and determine the time of day. Eventually, they were able to figure out the longest and the shortest days of the years using the sundial clock. We've already talked about how the Egyptians created an irrigation system to help control the flooding of the Nile River each year. Did you know they also created an ox-drawn plow and a sickle for harvesting crops each year? In addition to these inventions and accomplishments, the Egyptians also created a counting or number system. They came up with surgical instruments like needles and scalpels and created a black ink made of beeswax, soot, and vegetable gum. The list of inventions of ancient Egyptians could go on and on. There are so many things in our life today that directly connect back to the ancient Egyptian civilization. These inventions are a major reason why the civilization was able to grow and thrive for so many years. So the next time you're brushing your teeth, putting on makeup, looking at a clock, or checking your calendar, think back to the ancient Egyptians and all the things that they did that have impacted our lives now.